drive down the car park. Rebecca's on the beach at the moment with the dinghy and that. I'm going to try and get out. It's uh, been about a week. It's been rough weather. Today's calm, then tomorrow's getting rough again. So we're going to nip out, do some of the gear and hopefully bring back a couple of pots. We might even fish if we've got time. We're also going to head over to those boats in a minute. And just check they're not clashing on the engine because they were right up in the engine, that blue one and the larger ones, we'll just try and pull them apart if they are we'll have to go straight out there the moment it floats, I can't even push this off because of the stones if it's on the sand, see it floats quicker if it's over there as well yeah. see on the ground here this used to all be sand and we're losing all the sand here and it's all becoming rocks now or stones even there you can see a there's an old moor in there look look at that mm -hmm. yep. yeah all the rocks are coming up that would have been buried that rock if they had that in there but it might change several times who knows but at the moment it's all rocks Boat's looking a bit tired, needs a repaint and polish and everything else that boats need. A load of money thrown out. <laughs> That's the normal thing. It's been polished. Yeah. All right, well, we'll probably join you again when we're floating. We were going to go out in the dinghy, but being the water's come up so quick, uh, we're going to just go straight out there in the bigger boat. We've made it to the pots, the further out ones, which aren't that far, but that far away from the land. And we've got to check them. We've got 10 pots to do here. We're going to take two in again. In fact, we might leave that orange one out here. It'll give us a good guide to where everything is. We'll take the other orange one in. We'll just take uh, one of the smaller sets. Because that big one set out, it's got the flat pot on, so I don't really want to take that one into the bay. It's uh... thing is, well, we have caught anything after how long? A week? Long Five days? It is. It's, it's been a, it's, it's been a minute. <laughs> okay. Are we still moving? Oh. I wonder if we're spinning around like that. Baby lobsters and no bait. There we go, two little lobsters in there. Just gonna put you down for a minute while I work on this. Some kind of jellyfish sting, I think. I put my hand in the pot the other day. I put my gloves on because I've got some kind of little burn across the hands. It's been painful for about a week now. It's, uh, I think it's jellyfish sting. I put my hand in the pot the other day and there might have been a stinger or something on it, I don't know. Like hanging on the pot when it came up. Well, I should always wear gloves. Especially this time of year. You do get a lot of jellyfish around. Just that small brown crab in that pot. They're very slippery.
we're catching this one. Four pots down and nothing. Again, more parts. That one was empty. That one's got some brown crabs Rebecca's throwing out, but they're all too small. Spider crab in there, and a brown crab, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Not doing very well for a week's waiting. <laughs> the tide would drag against and put it back on the surface of the hotel. I think the small ones are looking very big. But you never know. We're going to find out if there's a lobster in here. Oh, that one close to us. I don't know. That looks like it's going to be. Whoa. It looks small, but it could have a long shell. And it does. It just makes it. About mil, two mil in size, that one. That one. Feel the width of it when you grab it. Yeah. So there's another one, but it's too small. Got one. Yay! Only took eight pots, but we got one. Conda, we'll use it as bait. Good news. Hard one. <laughs> They're right, our mouth's watering now. 
Look at that, nice crab. Picks in that one. Whichever's the worst one, because we don't want to sink the bait. Just give me the blue bucket. Let's take it out. It's alright, I'm over here for now. I'm getting away from the moment. Right, now we're going to have a quick bit of a fish. We've still got pots on board, but because when we take these in, we're going to switch them out with some others. So. Just up to fish, but I think it's tiny. So. Find out. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that little cutie. Oh, the camera's in the sun again, starts to steam up. It does that every time. Don't matter what time of year, just steams up. There you go. One little dream. Let him go. Oh, we're in the zone. Where there's one, there's more. Pop that back. I'm going to go straight back down, not going to mess around. Put it that way. Back it up to. Just going to get the big one. I don't know what he's like. We haven't uh, fished for long, but we've only caught a couple of little breams. So we're going to go and do the pots and then we might fish a little bit more somewhere else. We'll see when we've done the pots. Right, we're checking some of our inner sets. Baby lobster, a little one. And then, we've got some small wrasse. Bad one. Yes, wrasse, wrasse, wrasse. And there's another one in there. And that one, there. There's the other one. Two rests.
now when I'm doing it afterwards and then just bag them ready to build a so you know exactly what you've got. This big square pot, the uh, store pot kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, we'll do next. 